like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless Um, and I just thought I'd pick up the camera. If I'm really honest, I'm not really too sure what we're getting up to this weekend. Probably just going to be quite a chilled one, but I just thought I'd pick up the camera and bring you guys along with us. So if you are excited for today's vlog, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. So as you've just seen, I've just finished getting ready. I've had quite a chilled, slow morning to be fair, which I think is what Saturdays are about. Um, Tom's currently at work. I think what I'm about to do now is just have a little bit of a clean around the house, like wash the pots and stuff. Um, and then, like I say, I'm not really sure what we're going to get up to. I think I'm going to take a trip to B&M um, because our next video is going to be a B&M haul. Um, tonight I think we're going to have a bit of a movie night, get loads of snacks, pizza, stuff like that and then tomorrow we'll go off and do something. Who knows what, but we will be getting up to something tomorrow. Probably like a nice walk if it's not too bad weather. What's the weather been like where you guys have been? Because this week it's been here, there and everywhere. It's been freezing but bright sun shine, which is my all time favourite weather. It's been freezing and snowing, it's been freezing and icing, it's been freezing and windy, it's been freezing and raining. It's literally been all over the spot. Today it's a cold and rainy day. Um, but I'm hoping tomorrow's going to be one of those where it's like cold but bright sunshine. Because I just personally love going on walks when it's like that. You can wrap up warm but the sun's beaming on your face. I absolutely love that. For me, I love autumn, September, October, November and then December. I know we're coming into winter. I love it being cold those months but as soon as Christmas is over and it's January I'm like right let's get the hot weather back let's have it summer now so even though autumn winter is my favorite kind of like seasons I think that's because I love the back end of the year if you get what I mean um other than when it's cold and a nice sunny day um when it's just like drizzly and snowy and stuff I'm like right come on can it be summer yet I think I'm excited for summer as well this year purely because as you guys know we did loads to our garden last year we've still got a little bit more to do but we've done like the bulk of it with the fence and the paving and stuff so I'm excited this summer to get a nice big sofa a good barbecue and just pretty much be out in my garden all summer so I'm really really looking forward to that I'm also counting down the days to Florida we literally go in May and I am so excited if you've been around a while you'll know that we go to Florida sort of every couple of years to Disney um it's just our favorite place ever we absolutely love it we went in 2019 
and then we couldn't wait and we wanted to go back in 2020 so we booked it again for 2020 got obviously got cancelled because of covid so then we postponed it to 2021 got cancelled because of covid so now it's been postponed to 2022 and um, we've been to paris in between as you guys will have seen with the vlogs but there's just there's just something different about florida and I am so excited, I can't even explain. I'm so excited to bring you guys along, all the Florida vlogs. Honestly, it's just gonna be the best yet and I'm so excited for that to come. Um, that was a complete ramble. I'm just excited for the hot weather and summer and stuff like that now. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite season? Do you prefer autumn, winter, spring or summer? Let me know because I feel like everybody is so different when it comes to that. Like I said, I love autumn, winter. When it gets to Jan, Feb, I'm like, right, come on. Let's get to summer now. So it is a little bit later on. As I said, I did a bit of cleaning. Like, when I say cleaning, it was just a quick hoover and washing the pots and stuff. Nothing sort of dramatic. And then I went to be with my friend and I got some quite good stuff, actually. So I'll show you those, like I said, in the next video, um, which is going to be B&M haul. But I've just come back to a parcel. So the other day, I ordered two new bedside lamps from H&M Home. Now, I saw these in H&M Home some point last year i saw them in the shop and i was like oh my god i think they're the ones i want went online and then they literally stopped selling them or they were out of stock and i just couldn't find them and if i'm honest i completely forgot about them and then i was on the internet the other day and saw that they were doing them again so obviously i jumped at the chance of ordering them what i will say is the packaging is quite excessive they've put it in a massive massive cardboard box and then inside you've literally just got two of these but anyways, I really, really love them. So it's just the um, base itself. And then I've got some shades that I'll show you as well. But they're almost like a stone cement kind of bottom. You'll see what I mean. Ooh, that's lovely. So this is what they look like. I absolutely love them. That's what they look like up close. You see what I mean by like a cement type. Like a really, really neutral shade. And then I just got these from Danelle, which I'm hoping will fit on there perfectly. So these themselves, like the bases, I think were £49 each. It was around £100 for both of them. Um, and then these shades from B&M were £4 each. I'm just going to see though if these are going to fit on. Now it's been a bit of a nightmare this week because our um, main light in our room has stopped working. So the electrician's going to come around at some point next week to fix it and also put our new light shade up for us. So we literally haven't had a light in our room for a week and a half, but at the same time we've had no lamps, it's been pitch black. Um, so I've had to use like my phone torch. <laughs> so I'm just glad to have a little bit of light back in the bedroom, to be fair. Right, let's see. What's this? Is gonna, oh gosh, is it gonna fit? That's the question. Hmm, I don't think it fits. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Um, that is too small for that. Hmm. Come off. Okay, it looks like we're done have a new light just yet then unless this bit inside is off to don't think it does do the bulbs fit okay perfect so they fit i wonder if make it work oh that work i think no that looks silly doesn't it <laughs> that looks really silly it looks too long there doesn't it i think the shade needs to go further down oh i think i've sorted it so all i've done is i've took that bit off the light in there we'll see what they look like in our room let's do the other one and then we can see what we think but I think I've resolved the problem. How nice is that base, don't you think? I mean, it looks a bit weird because of the angle of the camera, but obviously it will look like that in the room. Um, how nice is that? 
I just love it. I love it so much. It's honestly just exactly what I've been looking for. Okay, so I've just gone and put one in our bedroom and I'm not sure if they're a little bit too big for the bedside table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the other one and put that on and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll wait and see what Tom thinks. But yeah, I'm just not sure if they're just a little bit too tall for the bedside tables. But we'll see what you guys think and we'll see what Tom thinks. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Do we think it's a little bit too big for the bedside table? I'm not sure. I can't decide. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've not taken like the wrapper and stuff off it because I'm not sure myself. But I think the colour matches perfectly with like the bed and the curtains. And then I think the white shade looks nice because obviously the room's white. But I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'm not sure if it, if it's just too much of a big base for the bedside table, if you get what I mean. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Do you think I should keep them or do you think they're a little bit big and I should take them back? Let me know. I'm just going to put them on and I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, that's what it looks like on. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's all we have on the bedside table, if it will look okay. Like, I've taken... We had those little flower things on. I've taken those off. But I'm not sure... Does it look too big or do I keep it? Let me know. Keep or send back. I'll ask Tom, obviously, as well when he gets back. It's really annoying, though, because I really, really like the lamp. I'm just not sure if they're too big. That <laughs> was good timing. Hi. You okay? You all right? No. Oh, oh just, gosh. Just lay down and go to sleep. Wow. <laughs> Tommy, is that what I'm on the vlog for? <laughs> is it? I need to know your honest opinion. I love the bedside table right. with the lights, but I don't know if they're too big. Do you want me to give you my opinion before yeah. you tell me yours? Yeah. As we're all aware, I am not a bedside table person. Yeah. The vlog won't be aware of this, will they? No. Unless you've told them. I've just explained that our light broke and the electrician's coming, so we've been in the yeah. dark for a week. I was dreading bedside lights I thought it looked there, it looked nice, love it. Do you want my honest opinion? Oh yeah. I love them. Do you actually love them? Yeah. They're from H&M Home. I, <laughs> I, really Tommy, really I, like I saw these in H&M Home like year last year and then they sold out and I forgot about them and then I saw them and I was like, oh my god. They're really nice. I though. feel like they just go with our room like, so much. I sound like I'm getting a little bit too excited <laughs> about bedside lights but as far as bedside lights go, they are they're really They're like, nice. like, look at them, they're like cement almost at the bottom. Yeah. But I thought like the cream bottom goes with the bed and the curtains and the white shade. So do you like them? Yeah. Oh, well, do you know what? That's amazing. Just don't touch them with those hands. But I was just saying to the vlog, I didn't know if they looked too big for the no. bedside table. Do you not think? No. I've took them white flower things we had off because I feel like it just has to be that and nothing else. Mm. Do you agree? I agree. Oh, so you like them? Yeah. Oh, well, you've made my decision really easy because I didn't know if I did. Oh, good. Oh, so you like them? Yeah. Brilliant. Now I just need to go pass out and be back in You need to catch me up. But Tom, one other catch thing. I need to go to bed. The one other thing, Tom, and for you on the vlog as well, I don't know if the bed will look better without them cushions on. I know that's music probably to your ears, but I don't know if it just looks better. No. Does it not? No. Do we think cushions? Just the fluffy one. No, but I think, does one look a bit silly? I don't like the polka dot cushions. Oh, okay. I love him. Here's my thought. What? Right. This is my little bit of interior <laughs> design, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. That. There. What, two fluffies together? Two fluffies together. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Right. Yeah? Okay, we can try that. What are you saying? <laughs> now it's there, I'm a little bit like, no. No, but I know Maybe what you mean. Do you, do you mean like just two plain, dot, two plain cushions is what you mean in it? Like no, not I with like. No, yeah, but no, but that is a plain cushion. It's plain, isn't it? There's nothing on yeah, it like yeah, them. Yeah. So I get what you mean. Right, let us know in the comments down below, guys. Two fluffies. They're from Sainsbury's, by the way, for anyone who cares. A fluffy and a polka dot, which is what we normally have. Polka dots from Next. Or nothing at all. Obviously, it would be neater no, than that. No, nothing at all is not an option. Okay. Okay, so like as it is, two fluffies, or do we just get like two plain cushions? Let us know your thoughts. <laughs>
So it is now a little bit later on. We're all raring Replenished. to go for our Saturday night. Yes, we are. And we have just, well, we've just put pizzas in the oven about 20 minutes ago. They're just ready now. Um, but I just wanted to show you them. Because honestly, these are the nicest non-takeaway pizzas. Mm. Are they? Would you agree? Yes. We've ever, ever had? So basically, let me show you the box. These are them. It's the Chicago Chicago Town Tomato Stuffed Crust Takeaway. So they have them in pepperoni and they have them in just mozzarella. No, not mozzarella. They do a meat feast, though. No, they don't. They don't? No, pepperoni and margarita, that's the one. They literally have them too. But in the crust, it's tomato. Oh, my God, aren't they so good, Tom? So good. So, so nice. So these are what we're just about to have for tea now. And then I think once we've had this, I'm going to get my jammers on. And we're gonna watch a film, I think, aren't we? Yes, watch we a film. We don't, yeah, we don't know what film. We're gonna watch a film, and we're also gonna have some nibbles, aren't we, Tom? Yes. A nice Saturday night movie night. Yeah, I'm so excited for this pizza. Like this one's yours. Oh, uh, I well, put some small pieces. Oh, thank you. Um, if you've not tried the these pizzas, no, just take a bit of mine then. I am. Um, if you've not tried these Pickle pizzas before. Back. Honestly, go try them. We got ours from Sainsbury's, but you can get them from Tesco's, anywhere, anywhere we'll sell them. Um, and let me know what you think today. Yeah. They are honestly chef's kiss. Now the next morning, and we're just heading off to meet our friends for breakfast. Um, and then we're gonna go on a nice walk out with Tom. We're gonna go on a lovely frosty walk. And do you know what? The weather understood the assignment this morning, because I was saying to you guys last understood night. Understood the assignment? Yeah. Wow, I like it. I was saying to these guys last night, I really hope it's like crisp. Sunny, and that's exactly what it is. So, thanks, weather. Um, so what did we do last night? We sat on the sofa, and what film did we watch? The Hustle. The Hustle, the hustle it was called on Netflix, and honestly, it was so good, wasn't it? It was really good, yeah. Unexpectedly like, good. It, it had Rebel Wilson in it. Oh, you know. I love Rebel Wilson. It's about Amy from uh, um, Pitch Perfect. From Pitch Perfect. Yeah, it was, so. it was really, and it had hair off Princess Diaries. What's in it? She's called Anne Hathaway. Yeah, it? she had hair in it as well. I, don't I think know. it's hair. You don't know what Princess Diaries is? Oh, yeah. Wow, you guys will. Um, so yeah, so we watched that, The Hustle. If you want to watch a good film, watch that. Like I say, it was on Netflix. Um, I've got a question for you all. So we had nibbles. We had Doritos and dips and stuff, didn't we, Tom? Yeah. What colour Doritos and dip are you? Because I'm a cheesy Dorito kind of gal. Tom's a blue Dorito. Cool original. Cool original. I'm a salsa. I'm a sour cream. Sour cream. So Tom's blue Doritos sour cream and I'm orange Doritos salsa. Let us know what you guys are. I mean, I do really like sour cream too, but fair salsa. Also, last night I tried the um, chocolate. You'll see it in my B and M hub. I got like a chocolate bar with mini eggs in it. Oh my god, it was so nice. Did you like that? Um, yeah, it was alright. It was just like a chocolate bar with a few mini eggs in it, there. It tasted a little bit like um, the Smarty. Do you I think the like Smarty it. chocolate? It was alright. That's what it, that's what it tastes like anyway. Um, anyways, like I say, it is now Sunday. We're heading off to meet our friends for breakfast, and then once we've done that, we are going to go on a nice walk. <laughs> for breakfast um, and now we've come out on a nice little walk breakfast I'd was say lovely breakfast was very nice lovely um, I'd say this walk isn't massive what, what will it be Ellie 40 30 40 minutes Ooh, 30 40 minutes yeah it's around near Dolby Forest where if you guys are avid watchers of the vlog it's where we get our Christmas tree but it's very icy it's, it is um, actually really and you know what Tom this is really like Dangerous. Like the Feels like, yeah. So we're on a little bit of an ice walk or a Perfect slide. Sunday. Nice breakfast and then a nice crisp walk in the countryside. There you go. Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Slip my world on fire. You slip my world on fire. It is now a little bit later on. When we got back in from our walk, we have some of our family come round for a coffee. Um, and then after that, I literally fell asleep, had a nap. I never, ever, ever, ever nap. So I must have been tired because I was literally 
out like that. Um, so I've just run myself a nice hot bath and I'm going to use one of my bath bombs that my friend got me for Christmas from Lush. I've not had a Lush bath bomb in a long, long time. So I'm really excited to just chill out in the bath and just relax really. And I don't know if we're actually going to start watching Harry Potter. We basically did this last year on the lead up to what we thought was Florida. What we want to do is we want to watch a Harry Potter every single week on the run up to Florida. I'm not really sure if we're going to start that today or if we're going to start it next week. Um, but we're either going to watch that or if not, I'm just going to get really, really cosy on the sofa. I just want to relax and just chill out this evening. Um, so with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. It was a really, really chilled one, but I hope you enjoyed it. I also just want to say as well, thank Thank you so so much for 2000 subscribers we are so so grateful honestly it really really does mean so so much to us so thank you from the bottom of our hearts if you are new here then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos and as always thank you for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye